Welcome to the channel, I'm Justin. And I'm Hillary, and we are here at Yellowstone. We decided we'd need a little adventure and we thought we'd bring you along. We're trying our best to socially distance ourselves. In fact, look behind us. It's just Cool Rick and he's at least six feet away. So that's something. Uh, where are we going first? I don't know, we're camping at Bridge Bay or something tonight. Yeah. But we're here, we're gonna have some fun and we hope you guys enjoy it. Thanks for joining us. Okay, pulling up to the gate here. We go to a lot of national parks, so we actually have a pass. Do you have a pass on I do. Okay, that's great. Did you want a map and paper? Yeah, we'd love one. Thank you. I love looking at these. I know we get one every single time we I know. come here, but I love them. And, and I love reading about people and animals. Uh, I tried to say that as nicely as possible, but that's how I feel. <laughs> <laughs> All the stories. Whoa, people, whoa. If you're coming to Yellowstone, stay away from the animals. I mean, for real. <laughs> I mean, it might feel like a zoo because of all the people, but it's not a zoo because of the animals. They will attack you, and I don't know why people don't think that, but they will. They will. Especially now when they're all having their babies. I mean, they're mean. Yeah, don't touch their babies. And buffalo look like they'd be really slow, but they're so fast. So, I don't know, we come here all the time. In fact, one of my last, the last video with the Tacoma, we were here in Yellowstone. That was the video, really? yeah, that was the video I titled uh, the last video or last adventure with the Tacoma, I think. Anyway, that was the last time we were here. <laughs> We've been told that there's not a lot of people here. Uh, based on the amount of people we just saw in West Yellowstone, I think we've been bamboozled. Yeah, and there's a long line and, of cars. Look at this. Yeah. This is crazy. This line of cars coming out of here is insane. This so. feels normal. One thing I am excited about, I don't think the tour buses will be here, which is nice because sometimes there's like 60 people to get off and it's really hard to get around boardwalks and stuff and stay safe right I don't want to be pushed off a boardwalk into yeah. a mud pot <laughs> I'm not looking to get boiled <laughs> no thanks so we're Anyways. gonna we're gonna start uh, we're heading towards <laughs> Madison Junction from West Yellowstone now <laughs> and we'll probably hang a right towards Grand Prismatic yeah or even Old Faithful at sunset would be fun yeah well, well it's only 730 oh it's summertime in Montana yeah, so we've got a while. So I will probably head to Grand Prismatic. That sounds fun. Let's do you do want to do the boardwalk or the hike? We we'll probably only do one. Um, let's do the boardwalk today and then the hike tomorrow. Okay. Because I'm going right. to have more time on my hike. So, yeah, there we go. All right. Onward to Madison Junction. So as you uh Oh a baby elk, look! Oh yeah. Oh man, there's oh, look over here on our left. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Those people are too close. Yeah, don't get that close. Oh my gosh, there's five babies right here with their little spots. Oh, and they're tracking one. Look at yeah. it has a, a collar on its There's head. a collar. Well, isn't that just magical? They're laying down in the sagebrush. Huh. As I was trying to say, <laughs> until we were rudely interrupted by the elk. <laughs> That's why they came here. Uh, the caldera. So, as you're driving in towards the Madison Junction, this is the, the wall of the caldera. So, pretty cool. I don't know. I, I always like thinking, like, wow, we're actually driving into the mouth of a giant volcano. <laughs> And those elk don't even care. They're like, yeah, if it goes, it goes. Whatever, I'm an elk. <laughs> this is how we start the fire. So we've decided just to make our way to camp, which is at Bridge Bay. And 
Hillary's helping us track that down. For all the times we come here, you think we'd know. Well, if we could just cut across the whole park, that would be the fastest. <laughs> we should probably go north then. Do you think, I think north. Yeah, like Geyser Basin and yeah, down? Yeah, north and down so around Canyon, yeah, Canyon Village. I think that looks like it's a shorter distance. All right. Then that is what we will do. Okay, so then we'll go up to Norris, then we'll cut across to Canyon Village, and then we'll come down to Bridge Bay. All right. That's going to be fun. That's right on Yellowstone Lake. That's going to be really pretty in the morning. Yeah, I, I'm very excited. <laughs> I learned that uh, Yellowstone Lake is like 146 miles of coastline. Yeah, so if you wanted to do a 140 mile hike, you could walk the entire perimeter of Yellowstone Lake and you would get that in. That sounds super fun. Are you going to do that? No. Me neither. Me neither. <laughs> nope. So we pulled over here on the side of the road. There are a few elk over there. What I really like about this spot versus others we've seen, we're kind of the only ones here, and they're far away, so I don't feel like we're doing anything wrong getting close to them. So I'm gonna run out there, put the long lens on. If I get a good shot, you'll see it now. If I don't, well, you'll just see some road shots. Holy cow, never. <laughs> we have been to Yellowstone, I don't even know how many times. So many times. And every time we make a joke like, oh, that's another one for wildlife bingo, and we never see a bear <laughs> until today. And it was close. Super, like, super close. You see people out there and they have their huge telescopes and like they've been camped out all day. We just happened to be driving <laughs> through and it's like the road opened up and we found a spot. I was able to jump out and, and like get these incredible shots of this bear roaming, running from a bison. Yeah, never. That was so cool. That never happens to us. <laughs> You've been coming here longer than I have. Yeah, and I've never seen that before. That close. He was like right in front of our car. <laughs> and then he like ran across the street. That was way better than the elk. I'm sorry about the elks. You know, that... No, the baby elks were still really cute. That but was that just, was just something. Oh my gosh. Perfect timing is what that was. I need a picture of this sunset. Guys, and sunset right now is super gorgeous. <laughs> I've been trying to get to camp in the daylight, but sunset in Yellowstone is unbelievable. I cannot believe it. Sometimes you go on a camping trip and you make lemonade from the lemons. Our lemons today were just bitter. Uh, we got to camp just fine, honestly. We, you know, we saw that cool bear. We had an incredible sunset and we got here and um, we bought some firewood and it just really wasn't taking. And I was like, all right, whatever, I'll start dinner. So I pull out my Camp Chef Everest, their new 2X, and I left the stupid connector for the propane at home. So I've got two propane tanks, a stove, and no way to get the propane into the stove. So I thought, okay, fine. Uh, you know, we're in Yellowstone, we have a fire ring with a grate, we'll just cook over the fire. Uh, yeah, well the firewood was having issues, so we couldn't get the fire hot enough to cook over. Uh, and we were just doing simple quesadillas, right? Melt butter and then heat up a tortilla hot enough to melt cheese and kind of heat the, the pre-cooked chicken inside. No dice, didn't work. Uh, so rather than doing a four day trip where we can't cook any food, <laughs> we're gonna just wake up tomorrow 
eat the stuff we have that doesn't need to be cooked like our lunch stuff for breakfast uh probably do a little bit more here in the park it's also freezing it's crazy cold so uh hillary's actually up in the tent right now getting all the blankets and everything's ready <laughs> so i'm gonna put food away because you know we did just see a bear <sighs> super sucks because i wanted this to be a fun adventure series to show you guys some cool stuff but uh, I think all it did was just help us create a longer checklist of things to make sure we have with us for our next trips. Really kind of lame. But we did get out of the garage. So I guess there's that. <laughs> anyway, uh, I think that's it for us on this video. We still might do a short one tomorrow. Either way, if you liked the video, by all means, like the video. If you do have a question, leave me a comment. And if you want to hang out again, make sure to subscribe. Until next time, I'm Justin B. McBride.